Okay, it looks like we're all going to be stuck here for a while. Now could be a good time to work on some personal skills. Um, so, I'll do some videos, stuff you can just do at home. I have no idea how long this will last for. I have no idea how many ideas I'll have. But to start with, I'd like to just maybe work on the cat flap pass. What I mean by that is the pass from the back of your hand, often out of an offload. Now the first thing we need to think about is you may not all have a rugby ball. If you do, great. If you don't, you need to find something that will do for a rugby ball. And the great thing is there are loads of things. Empty washing ball. Depends how you grip it. Here we've got a big, had vitamins in it or something, that'll do. This is probably the best shape I could find because it is about as round as a rugby ball. It's a flower pot. You may not have a garden, probably no use. I don't know what you've got in your house. I don't know, I don't want to know what you guys have in your houses. It's probably disgusting and illegal. You may have some of this. You may not. Again, I don't want to know what you've been using otherwise. But this is probably a good starting point. Hopefully we all have it. Preferably a full bottle. Full bottle, full roll. Okay. Very first thing when we work on one-handed passing things is I have small girly hands. I can just about hold this rugby ball with one hand because it's slightly soft, it's got grip. The balls we have, the balls you play with a lot, don't have grip most of the time. You're also going to be using this in a contact situation, probably on a rainy day. So running around like you're the next Fijian god isn't going to happen. So the first thing, let's talk about grip. When we're doing these one-handed things, try and make sure you're holding the ball with your hand, pressing it into your forearm. And you can do that again with this toilet roll. Okay, so grip, something that we can always use in a game. You can then tuck it in safe if you need to take in contact. Okay, what can we do to practice this cat flat pass? Quite simple really. Find a wall. I've got a door here and I kind of like that because I can get it to move and just make it maybe, maybe a bit more realistic what's going on with my arm. And the ideal pass is gonna go about here and it's going to go high enough for you to be able to turn around and catch it. So, go. That one was a little bit to the side. It's getting good air. I'd like to get it a little bit further back. So just keep experimenting. Key technique kit. That grip, number one. Number two, get your elbow high and slightly to the side. The higher the elbow, the more you can flick it up. And then the last killer point, you've got to go for it. Don't be shy. If you go weak, the ball will just go down or straight back like it did there. Where you really get found on your technique is when you swap hands. See, I'm now doing this with my left hand and I was practicing a bit before this because I didn't want to look like a complete dick. But the left hand is the one where you get found out or the wrong hand. But again, the same thing, that grip, that high elbow, Pass to the side. Keep practicing, keep practicing, turn around, catch, and that is a, something that will make you look skillful and you can actually use, especially with the offloading game we are trying to play. Variations get down on your knees, maybe one hand on the ground, practice flicking it up off the ground. Again, that falling situation, try doing it while you're falling down. Might be a bit difficult to catch, don't know, give it a go. You could perhaps practice an over-the-shoulder pass. There, I did it nice and easy so I could turn around and catch it. Again, you might want to practice with the fly, but it's the same thing. Same grip, high elbow, getting it round. Okay, guys, that is something you can really easily practice in your house. You can do it with different things. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Be nice if all this over, you come back being able to do more things without even training. Take care, stay safe.